What's going on internet? IG here again today. And today I'm very excited to be reviewing the Ubuntu Mate edition of Ubuntu 15.04. So this is the first time that the Ubuntu Mate edition has made its way into the official Ubuntu family. And that is something that is very exciting from someone that started using Linux around the time that GNOME 2 was in its heyday. Uh, so obviously for those of you who don't know, and I, I'm assuming most of you do, uh, Mate is kind of like a fork of what GNOME 2 used to be. And they've uh, very much kept the essence and the spirit of what GNOME 2 is. Uh, a lot of its look and feel, because let's be honest, it, it really wasn't broken when uh, GNOME 3 decided to shake things up and uh, and start with GNOME 3. So Ubuntu Mate seeks to create a bit more of a nostalgic Ubuntu release and I think that is something that a lot of Linux users are looking for. Um, and I've got to be honest, just in the short time that I've been testing this particular distribution, I've been really impressed just with the level of integration that this system has, and also just the ease of customization, the ease of making this desktop your own. So one of the first things I'm going to touch on is Mate Tweak. Now, if you if we look into System Preferences and Mate Tweak there, um, it, they've kind of borrowed a few hints and tips here from the Linux Mint Mate edition in terms of being able to tweak the, uh, I guess, tweak the desktop to the way that you want it. So they've got a bunch of panel layout presets here as well. Some of them are a little bit cryptic, obviously, in terms of what you want them to look like. But essentially, you've got a default Mate desktop. You've got an Ubuntu Mate desktop. You've got the Ubuntu Mate desktop with the Mate menu, which in many ways is just like the Linux Mint menu of yesteryear, which is absolutely fantastic. Then we also have one for a more Windows-esque layout, one for a more Mac-oriented layout, and also OpenSUSE, which OpenSUSE I found to be quite uh, nostalgic as, uh, yeah, my very first release of OpenSUSE was rocking a GNOME desktop with this adorable menu. Uh, not quite as functional as the Mint menu or the Mate menu, but yeah, there you have it. Uh, so if we go back to the, let's go back to the default, which is Ubuntu Mate. And it's also really simple now to turn on Compares, which is one thing that um, that it was always a bit of a bother whenever I, whenever I went to use a Mate desktop. Uh, you always had to, you know, do a little bit of tweaking to, you, to use Compares as the default window manager. Nowadays, simple drop down menu affair. It's very, very simple. And this is the sort of stuff that, um, this is the sort of stuff that I really appreciate out of a Linux distribution. There have been a bunch of changes since Ubuntu Mate came out. So let's run over some of those changes really quickly. So according to the Ubuntu Mate website, it's, it's obviously now an official flavor. It's got a few hardware partnerships. It's also got supported hardware um, architectures for PowerPC and Raspberry Pi 2, which is pretty cool. They've obviously also got the default look and feel, which is called Yuyo. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but that's how I'm gonna pronounce it. They also have obviously, like I just demoed, they've got the user interface switching. They've got fully integrated Compiz support. They've got a pull down terminal that is included by default with the default application selection. They've got folder colors, so you can choose your different folder colors and other look and feels, and you've also got your light DM GTK greeter settings. Uh, they've also got new categories in the system menus. They've updated to the latest Linux 3.19 kernel. They've got the Mate desktop 1.8.2, Firefox 37, LibreOffice 4.4, and they've also updated the support for GTK3 theming uh, so that it looks like GTK2, which is largely what Mate is based off. Uh, they've also replaced Totem with VLC, which is a good choice in my opinion. They've replaced Cheese with GUVC View, uh, and obviously the big one with Ubuntu 15.04, they replaced Upstart with Systemd. But I guess above everything else, I'm really impressed with A, this distribution's performance, B, the choices of software that they've decided to include by default, and C, just how easy it is to install and customize this distribution the way that you wish. In many ways, this was the desktop that I fell in love with when I started using Linux to begin with. And, uh, and it's great to see that they have that kind of setting, that kind of level of customization here and ease of customization when it comes to a new Linux desktop. Now, when it does come to the default applications, I'm not gonna run through them all because chances are you've seen all these before, but they do include the basics and they include more or less the best that the open source world has to offer, which is very, very good in my opinion. And when it comes to overall snappiness and performance, um, look, I'm not left sitting around very long for anything at all. And really everything looks pretty dandy in this dark green theme, which is kind of very similar to what GNOME used to be in the past. 
There's lots of wallpapers here you can choose from, most of them are Ubuntu Mate branded, but there's also plenty of themes you can choose from as well, which is always nice. And of course you can jump in and grab some more themes online from the Mate desktop theming site. So if we jump over back to this web page, you can see here that you've got some themes there that'll work well with GTK 2.x or 3.x. So you can really go nuts there in terms of what kind of themes you want. Uh, and then obviously you can customize these themes as well. For example, if you wanted to go with the Ubuntu Mate uh, and then you wanted to customize it with different colors, you can do that. Different controls, you can definitely do that. The icons, the pointers, everything about this is so easily customizable. And yet it's ridiculously lightweight. On modern hardware, this is, uh, this is pretty much gonna fly, um, which is always great to see. Uh, we love distributions that perform well on older hardware, because let's be honest, that's nine times out of 10 the reason that we stopped using other operating systems in the first place. You know, it's a very unique situation for me when I get to try out a distribution and not really have anything negative to say about it. Even in my reviews when I don't say anything bad in, in particular about a distribution, there are usually niggles that I personally have come across, but I don't see them as worth bringing up in a review because of the fact that it's very, uh, it's usually very unique to my particular um, workflow, to my particular set of circumstances, so I usually don't bring it up. But when it does, when I do come across a distribution that I really appreciate the work that they've done, um, and obviously there's a great deal of nostalgic value in this one as well. But uh, when I do encounter that that sort of distribution, that uh, the level of quality is right up there. Um, there is no sort of crashes. They've done some very elegant design choices. Um, they've got a great set of default applications and they just make it wickedly easy to get what you want to get done done then I really have to give a distribution some major props and I've got to be honest this is probably the, one of the most exciting distributions that I've played with uh, in terms of a very mature implementation of Mate uh, the most mature that I've seen and, and I tried using um, Linux Mint Mate back in the day um, but it just wasn't quite mature enough at that point. Nowadays it definitely is and we're definitely up to the same level of functionality that we were with, uh, with GNOME 2.x before they brought out GNOME 3.x. So let me know what you think about this distribution in the comments below. Um, obviously I've given it a pretty glowing review, but you might have encountered some issues or could see some potential changes that they could make. If you do, let me know in the comments below. As always, if you like what you see here and you want to see more, hit that subscribe button and go Chuck Norris on the like button if you want to see more videos like this. Well, that'll be all from me in this particular episode. I will catch you all in the very near future. In the meantime, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Probably Twitter is the preferable one, at InGalactic. In the meantime, guys, I will see you in the very next video. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen.